if you want to create a GeoJSON file, you can code that. Uh, and there, there are frameworks for doing that. And, and once you get good at it, you can do it quite well. Uh, but since we're all new at this, we're going to do it a much simpler way, especially because we're working right now with just points on a map and we're relatively familiar with Google My Maps. So let's open Google My Maps, which I've done here, and I've created a new untitled map for, for, our, for our purposes here. And you'll see that I've, I've zoomed into uh, Edinburgh here, um, where you'll recognize Newtown on the maps that we've been looking at. And what I'm going to do is just drop in a few points here. So I'm going to take my points and I'm going to drop one here at the Scottish National Gallery. I'm going to save that. Uh, let's uh, drop one here at Edinburgh Castle. Let's save that. And let's drop one here at St. Giles Cathedral. There we are. And so we have three points on our map. We don't need any more than that. So now we have a layer. And let's export this as a KML. And uh, all we want is the KML. Let's download it. And I am just going to drag and drop this. Or I'm just going to copy and paste it. Copy and paste it right into our test folder here. And let's rename that. Let's just rename it Edinburgh Sample. There we are. Now we have our KML document. And uh, what we have in our KML document is basically those three points. So we want to turn our KML document, if you remember what this looks like, let's open this in um, our text editor. Here's bbedit, we'll open it with that. This is our text editor, this is our KML file. Um, oh, that's our Edinburgh KML file. Let's open up our Edinburgh sample KML file. There we are. And these are basically the three points on the map here. That's what the KML looks like. But we want to convert that to GeoJSON without going through too much work. And the way to do that is to use this website here. This is really fantastic, geojson.io. And all you do to convert this to a different format is take your KML document and drag and drop it right into the map here. There you are. And you can see your points here are on the map. Those are the three we set up. And then we go over here and click Save. And you'll notice you can save it in a number of doc uh, documentation formats. We want to save it as a GeoJSON file. So we're just clicking here and saving it as a GeoJSON file. There it is. Map 3. So I'm going to copy this and drop it into our file structure, Map 3. And so if we want to graph this map in our leaflet document, what we want to do is go to our map here. And you'll notice that in the previous iteration, we had map 2geojson Well, our new map is map 3. So we're just going to save that and go to our map of Edinburgh. And I'm going to pull this out a little bit. This is what the original map looked like. I'm going to refresh it. And there we are. This is the new map. This is with our three points that we just mapped. And it's as simple as that to convert a KML document into a GeoJSON document so that it can be imported into Leaflet.